We are showing here a conductive ink based on graphene. We can print almost everywhere. This is made out of graphene and it's uh, discharging electricity, so it's able to deliver electronic equipment without damaging it. This is already an industrial product, just to commercialize. Today we are showing uh, an e-paper display. It has transistors printed on plastic, but transistors do have conductors, and metal conductors are not uh, as flexible as we would like them to be, and so we utilize graphene to improve the flexibility of, of these devices. We developed the graphene flexible antennas for NFC applications. We developed this prototype that is a, a bracelet with a graphene antenna and a chip. And uh, this works as an NFC bracelet because um, it can transfer data between the chip and the smartphone. As you can see, it's very flexible. In future, it could be embedded in clothes, so it's very interesting for wearable electronics. So what we have here today is we're showing a graphene prototype. Uh, it's an embedded sensor in a mobile device. Uh, so this will sit behind the display and allow us to have four sensitive touch panels. So existing technologies might use capacitance, uh, capacitive touch, which has an on-off signal. So with the graphene force sensor, we can play with a whole dynamic range of sensing capabilities, which can be implemented in apps and gaming and any other kind of device which needs this uh, pressure feedback. We have developed uh a paper-based sensor uh, that integrates uh, quantum dots of graphene. When you put this paper in contact with uh, uh, some samples that contains uh, contaminants, uh, we see that uh, this uh, uh, photoluminescence changes. So we have a simple mobile phone that uh, coupling this cost-efficient device thanks to the properties of the graphene quantum dot will be able to be used for any kind of uh, diagnostic. It's a graphene 3D printed shoes that embeds a pressure sensor. This is made basically with a graphene foam. When I press it, I'm just detecting the change in the pressure and that can be used for monitoring. So it's really important also for medical application to know how your body is really balancing the weight on your feet. And the idea is to make something that's going to work one day, embedding many different sensors as a functional object. So what is really needed is actually having a possibility of bringing everything from a lab to an actual product on the market. So we create a, a graphene-based image sensors that can not only see visible light, but also infrared light. So we basically extend the vision of uh, conventional cameras on a similar technological platform using graphene. Thanks to Graphene, we can make uh, this uh, low power consumption uh, displays with the uh, ultimate uh, resolutions. Right now we show this prototype that is uh, 850 pixels per inch. For applications in virtual reality, augmented reality, smart glasses and so, you really need to put uh, the displays very close to your eye with lenses and then you will see the pixels currently. But now, if you use a lens, you will not even see the pixels in this display. We are developing novel uh, infrared detectors, both in the shortwave infrared area and thermal infrared detection. The typical application areas for us are night vision and uh, machine vision, as well as in spectroscopy. So if you're a spectrometer manufacturer or night vision camera manufacturer, we have something to offer for you. So the properties what we use, they are conductivity of the graphene. Secondly, so that it's uh, two-dimensionality and how the, this two-dimensional material can be integrated on top of a CMOS wafers. And thirdly, it's flexibility of the, of the graphene uh, that, that creates additional value. 